Hey guys, so I posted on Instagram not that long ago that I had been sent some Youngblood products to try out, some of their vegan ones, and um, a few of you asked me to do kind of like a full review on them, so that's what this is. So I wasn't sure which of these two items to put on first. This is the Youngblood Anti-Shine Mattifier, which um, I've seen a couple of other brands have things like this. It's like a kind of, not waxy, but almost silicone-y style base. I think it's a base anyway. It didn't say on the packaging whether you should put it on before or after makeup, and it doesn't say on the website either. So um, some of the other ones I've seen from other brands say that you can use it as a base or to kind of touch up throughout the day, which to me seems kind of counterintuitive putting something like this on top of makeup, but I'm gonna try it both ways anyway. So I'm going to use the sponge that came with it and just put it on my T-zone or anywhere that I want to not be shiny, I guess. So it does feel very smooth. It doesn't feel like I have much of anything on my skin, so that's good. Yeah, I guess we'll see how makeup goes on top of that in a minute. So the next item is their Ultimate Corrector, which comes with a peach tone and a yellow tone. Um, these are fairly dark shades, so we'll see um, how that works on me because I'm very fair right now. And I have given these a go before, but I was a little bit darker, so we'll see how it works on pale skin. And I'm just gonna apply that with my finger and see how it works. So I'm gonna use the peach first, and I'm gonna put that on the inner darkest areas of my eye. And because it is fairly dark, I'm just gonna put it only on those blue areas. A lot of the kind of peach toned correctors, if they only come in one shade, they're usually very light, which doesn't work for anybody darker than that because you need the peach to be like the same depth as your blue discoloration, otherwise it's just gonna make it a bit lighter. It's nice that this one is darker, because it does mean that even paler people should be able to use it and then put a lighter concealer on top if they want to. It's still gonna work the same to cancel the color out. And then I'm gonna use that around my nose too, but I'm gonna mix a little bit of the peach and the yellow together. Okay, so that is very orange. I'm gonna blend it out with a Cosette S165 brush and just kind of concentrate it on those blue areas, but buff it into the rest. So obviously this doesn't look right on me whatsoever, but for darker skin tones, this would be really good. Um, I am going to layer the yellow on top and see if that works to cancel a little bit of that out. I'm going to use a brush for that. Yeah, see it layers very easily. I think that this would work for a good variety of people, as I said, because that peach tone is so dark. You would be able to use that on very dark people, you would be able to use it on very fair people, and then just layer the yellow or a different concealer over it, but it's gonna be great for fair people who have very dark under eye bags, so I'm really impressed with that so far. It seems like a nice consistency for the un under eyes too. It's nice and, um, soft and kind of like moisturizing, doesn't seem like it's gonna be drying. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that yellow on some other areas too. test out that um, kind of primer or anti-shine thing a little bit, I'm gonna put some um, mineral powder on top. I'm just gonna use the Lily Lolo one in the color Popcorn and the e.l.f. powder brush. So it seems 
to go on um, top of that anti-shine stuff quite well. We'll see how it wears throughout the day and I'll note that in a blog post to go with this. Yeah, I went over it nicely. It kind of acted like a nice base. So if that's how I meant to use it, I think it worked well. So moving on to brows, they sent me their Brow Artiste Sculpting Pencil in Blonde and it has the um, spoolie at one end and then kind of one of these flat ended nibs. So I think if you are as um, fair as me or have as light hair, you're going to want to use it with a very light hand. I like the kind of angle of it because you can get a very kind of defined, you know, curves towards the end. You can also kind of use it flat to shade in areas. And then I did some kind of like little um, just strokes in here to kind of fill things in a bit lighter. And I really like it. I think it's a good shade. I think it did a good job. So moving down the eye, I have their Press Mineral Eyeshadow Quad in Timeless, and I think that that is an adorable little palette. I'm gonna use what I think is Cocoa, this color, and they are quite powdery, as you can see. So keep that in mind, and I'm gonna do that as a transition color, which is a really pretty kind of neutralish shade. It looks a bit warmer in the pan. I'm not sure how it's gonna pick up on camera, but we'll see. They definitely blend very easily and they are quite um, pigmented and buildable, so that's nice. And I think all of their quads seem like they're quite well thought out, like they're not just all shimmers or um, weird colors, so definitely appreciate that. I'm going to darken that up a little bit with this shade over here, which I think is Haze. I'm going to soften up a little bit with the desert color which does have a bit of a shimmer to it. And then I'm gonna use um, dough to kind of blend that in a bit with the brow bone. It actually worked really nicely. And then I'm gonna take desert again and put that on the center of the lid. So I think that they blended out very easily. Um, I really like the color selection in there. Um, I think you could get like a nice kind of daytime smoky eye with it. You could use a lot more of this color. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, so just throwing a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes just to make me look a bit more normal. And I'm gonna move on to the lips. So they sent me their lip liner in the color Pout, which is a really nice, just neutral lip color. So because this is such a nice kind of natural neutral color, I am just gonna um, kind of even out my lips a little bit. So I'm gonna um, make this point a little bit bigger and just even out that lower lip line too. <laughs> I 
I really love this lip liner. I've been wearing it a lot lately. So if you've asked me recently what lip liner I've been wearing, it's that. Um, and then I'm gonna top that off with their lip gloss in Revealed Mighty Shiny Lip Gel. So I'm not gonna put it on super thick because that's not how I would usually wear it, but that's that lip combo. Now because I'm looking pale and weird, I'm gonna put a bit of bronzer and blush on and then I'll come back and just kind of give you my final thoughts. Okay, so that's the full face done. Um, I'll tell you what I thought of them all. This one I feel like I can't fully comment on right now because I haven't been wearing it that long. Um, my makeup did go on really well on top of it. Should I try putting it on top of it? Maybe I will. Let's see how that goes. I feel like it just picked up what was underneath. I don't know if I'm using that one properly. Um, I think as a primer, it worked quite well. It made my makeup go on smooth. I'll see how it lasts throughout the day and um, put more information in below or in a blog post. So there's that one. The Youngblood Corrector. I think this is probably one of the most universally friendly um, corrector combos. The dark color is gonna work on fairly dark skin tones as well as light ones when you top it with the yellow. So. I think that's awesome. Um, it means that you don't need to have like 10 different shades in your line of corrector because it, this is gonna work for everyone. So yeah, I think it had good coverage. I think the consistency was good for under the eye and no complaints. I really like that brow pencil. So I think it made very easy work, especially if you kind of have brows already that you just wanna fill in or darken a bit. You could do that really quickly with this, just holding it sideways and shading them in. Uh, but I also think it would be good for people that are kind of making up their brows if they don't have much. So um, I can't say what the other colors are like, but I really like that blonde one. The Press Mineral Eyeshadow Quad, I really like. I really like this color range. I'll probably have a look at see what other ones they have, but this is gonna suit a lot of different people. Maybe not super dark skin tones, but for anyone probably up to medium tan shade, this is gonna look good on. I just think they're a well thought out set of colors. So they're very easy to blend, yeah. Nice little eyeshadow quad. And I love the size and it's just simple. And then for the lips, this has been my favorite combo lately. I'm actually gonna bring these to Vegas with me because my friend Andy loved the combination so much. I found that the gloss does stay fairly glossy without being like sticky and going all like weird. And that lip liner worn alone does last really well too. If you put a gloss on top, it's probably not gonna last as long, but that's what you would find with any lip liner. But yeah, I really like that color pout. I think that's a really good one. So overall, I'm really impressed. I've not really tried any of their products before. I don't think anyway. So yeah, I definitely check into some of their other stuff. I'll put a link below to their vegan items. And if you've tried any young blood stuff, definitely let me know because I'd love to hear your thoughts on them too. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.